In this module, we will learn how to configure Live Update to ensure definitions are kept updated on the clients and the SEPM. Symantec products depend on current information to protect computers from threats with latest threat protection technology. Client computers and servers need to receive periodic updates to protection content, such as virus and spyware definitions, intrusion protection system signatures, and product software. Live Update provides these updates through an internet connection. Symantec signs the updates and the Live Update client verifies them to ensure that your updates have come from Symantec and have not been tampered with in any way. You can adjust the schedule that the SEP manager uses to download content updates from Symantec Live Update to the management server. For example, you can change the default server schedule frequency from hourly to daily to save bandwidth. Let us see now where we can check our Set Manager Live Update download status and settings. We go to the admin page, select our system, and we can show the downloads. We can access it from the tasks below, or we could right click the actual Set and Manager. Let us look at the show Live Update downloads. And here we can check for the revision number and the download time to ensure that the SEP and manager is up to date. Let us look at the status. We can see when the next live update download time is due to start. And let's look at the content. From here, we could force a download to start immediately. Let us now review the default live update policy that is currently applied to our laptops and desktops group. So we go to our computers page and ensure we have the laptops and desktops group selected. And on the policies tab, we choose the live update policy. It's currently using the default one, and we can select the schedule to see that it's currently due to check every four hours for updates. Now we could adjust this if we wish to, or we could create a new one. Let us do that. So we go to our policies page, ensure we have live update policy selected at the top, and then add live update policy below. We can now give it a name. And choose the schedule. I'm going to change it to be hourly. And OK. I'm going to assign this policy to our laptops and desktops group. That policy will now be applied to the computers as they communicate with the SEPM. It is a best practice to use the SEP manager to distribute product software and content updates. An update package that is distributed to the management console is incremental rather than a complete package. The update packages are usually smaller than those that are downloaded directly from the Symantec Live Update server. This is the recommendation for Small Business Edition. If we now go to our client number one, we can see that the client CSO1 is currently requesting updated policy from the Semantic Endpoint Protection Manager. This should be now downloading the new live update policy. If we open the client by double clicking the icon, We should be able to go to the live update settings. And we can see the client is currently updating a 
processing the updates that it has downloaded from the SEPM. Live update session is now complete. We can have a look at the logs under the system log. And we can see the new definitions file has been loaded. If we go back to our SEPA manager and choose computers, ensure our group is selected correctly, and we can see the policies assigned. We can also see down here that the new shared policy of hourly live update policy has been applied. And this brings us to the end of that module.